A developing story in uh, Washington. Key Democratic uh, swing vote Senator uh, Kirsten Sinema signing off on the reconciliation bill that includes hundreds of billion dollars in spending on energy and climate change initiatives. Her support required one major change, though, to the revenue side of the bill. Lon Louis joins us now from Washington. Good morning. Well, good morning, Joe. Democrats have struck a deal with Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema that could cement the 50 votes needed to pass their new tax and spending bill. Sinema got Democrats to drop any changes to carried interest in exchange for her support. Instead, two sources tell me Democrats plan to impose a new 1 percent excise tax on stock buybacks to make up that lost revenue. Now, the carried interest provision would have raised $14 billion. The Joint Committee on Taxation projected a previous version of that stock buybacks tax that was passed by the House would have raised $124 billion over a decade. Well, NBC also reports that the new 15 percent corporate minimum tax would still allow companies to take advantage of accelerated depreciation. And the deal would add billions of dollars in funding for drought mitigation as well. Now, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said he believed every Democrat would support this compromise. And last night, President Biden threw his support behind the proposal as well. He said, quote, this is another critical step toward reducing inflation and the cost of living for America's families. The president urged the Senate to pass this bill as soon as possible. The Senate will reconvene on Saturday to begin voting on the bill. That process is expected to take all weekend. So, guys, final passage, assuming it happens, is not expected until Monday. Back over to you. They're going to get in under the wire. What, when does recess start, Elon? Oh, recess was supposed to start yesterday. <laughs> yeah, so, so they, they, so they right. are going to be staying in session, yeah, through the weekend. And after the Senate uh, votes on this, assuming it passes, the House would then have to come back out of recess. They've already left Washington um, sometime next week in order to send it to the president's desk, Joe.